Hello Nuggets. Okay, so I wanted to do a, a quick blog today, vlog, about um, what happens when you don't write every day. Now I know I've touched on this before, um, that I think you should do it every day, but uh, I actually just went through uh, the problem that I laid out in whatever that blog was. Um, in the last couple of days. So a couple of things came up and I couldn't write this weekend. Today's Monday. Couldn't write Saturday because there was a family thing. And then I had, I literally slept for like an hour <laughs> on Saturday night. And I had to take Laura to the airport in the morning uh, on Sunday. And then I came home and I fell asleep for two hours. And I was just all over the place. I just couldn't. So I didn't get any writing done. It's the end result. So I went two days without writing. And then today... I said, oh, can't do that. I know it's not good for me, so i got to go put st put my laptop in my bag and go, uh, right. So I did that, and I could very clearly feel the steps back. So mentally, I wasn't prepared to write. I was distracted. I had to work again. had to work really hard to get myself back into the zone. Uh, I only wrote for an hour and a half um, at the cafe, and so it wasn't, you know, it wasn't very good writing either. Um, and it really shows how taking those days off, and actually Laura said to me, I said, you know, I'm, I've got to write today, I'm, I haven't written for two days, and she said, just, it's okay, you're allowed to have a weekend. No, you're not. <laughs> no, you're not. It just doesn't work that way. So when I did set down to write, apart from my distraction, I'd lost my place in the story, I'd lost the feel, I'd lost the energy of it. Um, and I don't know if it's the same for all stuff, but it's certainly true for me for writing. So I don't know if it's the same when you're painting or you're sculpting or you're making music or whatever other creative thing you're doing, whatever your outlet is. Um, I couldn't get back into the story. So I had to go back to the beginning of my script because I'm in writing it now. And on Friday, I got to the end of Act 1, which is just 10 pages. So it's not that much. So I went back and I read it again. And as I'm reading it, I'm starting to get new ideas and I'm desperate to clean up some of the writing because it's ugly. So I get a bit distracted and I clean up the writing. And then I get through to the end of Act One and time has gone and I've realized I didn't really write today. That doesn't count. And it's all because I had those two days off. Because until Saturday, I'd proved to myself that the method works. You do it every day. You set aside the writing hours. You set aside the time that you're going to do your creativity. And you do it without fail every day. And you judge yourself harshly. If you haven't done good work that day, you can't let yourself off the hook. And just today while I'm writing, I noticed it. And, and part of me that kicked in, I came back home. It was about noon. What time is it now? I don't know. But it was about noon. And... Um, I beat myself up about it and I said, no, you don't get time off. You, you can't make your blog right now. You have to write. Because you didn't write and because your hour and a half wasn't very good writing and you were distracted, you have not written yet. So I just sat down and wrote for two hours and it was good. I got it, I got it back in. But what a struggle. <laughs> it was just such a tremendous struggle to get back into the right frame of mind just because I took those two days off. So this is a reminder to myself no matter what anyone says, I don't think you can leave creative work alone for a while. I think you can when it's at a state of completion, right? When you feel like the past is done, you're like, okay, I actually need to come back to this not remembering what it was so I can judge it clearly, then it's fine, right? But then you should be moving on to the next thing in that interim. You shouldn't just be not doing it, you know. Anyway, that's it. I just wanted to point it out because it was a little disturbing and I was like, you know, I slept okay last night so I should be able to write today and I couldn't just because I had those two days off. You know, we had a great weekend but, you know, uh, it's not good enough. Got to write every day. Do it every day. Maybe I'll title this video exactly the same. Do it every day part two. Um, so there's the lesson in it. But anyway, I got some good writing done. I beat myself up. I came home. I said, you got to do it. So I wrote today. And I got through another couple of scenes and I'm into act two of the story. So it's going a lot better. All right, that's it, you little nuggets. Do it every day, part two. Have a good one. Bye.